Bochy's best rock. I'm the Bob Binder host. If you're new to the show, well, first of all, welcome. Second of all, where have you been? Third of all, let me explain it to you. This is how I describe this show. It's like a roller coaster. There are a lot of ups, there are a lot of downs, and occasionally you might vomit, but it's the good kind of vomit you feel better afterwards. <laughs> I can't think of a better way to introduce the show, to tell you the truth. Don't you agree? Uh, it involved vomiting, it sounded like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, that'll reel in uh, the, your, your listening audience. Oh, it's just what everyone wants to think about Monday morning. I'm sure. <laughs> That's all they thought about Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> if it was a good weekend. <laughs> that is correct. Well, Jason White, welcome in once again. And thanks for bringing the cameras this time. This is pretty cool. This is going to be on Okaboji TV. Dot com. Dot com. Don't forget the dot com. I didn't want people flipping through the dial saying, hey, there's <laughs> no not an actual television station. But <laughs> it's pretty cool. They have some cool stuff up there, though. Right. And uh, a lot of great things from, you know, going out to lakes. I've seen some girls in bikinis. Yeah, there are all, all kinds, kinds of some stuff. stuff you filmed, actually. Yeah, yeah, that's how I even found out about it. It's, it's right. basically uh, anything that anybody wants to put up there that would legally be accepted by YouTube. Right. And if you put uh, the word Okaboji as one of your tag words, it's going to show up on okabojitv.com, and therefore you can be a star. You can be a star. Just like Dave Pop is a star of okabojitv.com. That's something else, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> are you going to take them shades off? or, or uh, are I you going to shades gonna, on. You're going to do the whole I'm the, the, the hip DJ thing because you want people to believe that normally you never take the shades off, that they grew out of your nose at the age of five, right? <laughs> Sure. <laughs> no, I just, uh, I'm doing anything I can to combat my looks, I guess. Oh, so. I see. I am getting my hair cut today, though. It's getting kind of long, so it's kind of cool they're taping today. Yeah, we can but. see. How short? How short are we going? Are you getting a haircut and getting a real job? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to the Radio Conclave this Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Mm -hmm. And so I just kind of want to go a little professional. Maybe that's a bad idea, though. Maybe radio guys don't want to see me be professional. That's true. Now, your average person is sitting out there either watching this on the Internet or listening on their radio, and they're like, what the, what the heck is the conclave? <laughs> Why don't you explain that? It's uh, a radio convention, basically. And, you know, I have a lot of friends who travel for their jobs, and they get to go to these conferences and things like that. I've never really understood what they do at mm -hmm. any of them. Have you ever been in that line of work where you get to do that? Yeah, but I was always the guy that had to stay back and do the real work while the other guy went to Vegas. Yeah. You know, it, and finally I get to go to something like this, you know, one of these right. radio conferences, and it's in the city I grew up in, so... The Twin Cities. Why couldn't it be in L.A. or well, Las But it's still kind of like a paid business vacation. Everything you do there, you can write off. That's true. It's very true. Free hotel stay. Hopefully an open bar. I don't know about that. <laughs> well, speaking of uh, my hometown, I, I used to be embarrassed to mention it, you know, but I am a Vikings fan. What am I going to do about it, you know? It, uh, well, it, it all depends. I mean... I you could, you could be like you could be like a Cubs fan. I'm a loyal, loyal Cubs fan, and, and if, if Cubs fans, I think, are a lot like Vikings fans. You get most nervous when they're doing well. Exactly. Because, like right now, the Cubs have the best record in baseball. But do I feel happy? No, because I know what's coming up. A painful, <laughs> painful, dark ending. They know how to choke. They're masters of it. It's that damn goat. That goat's buried at the Metrodome, too, I believe. Is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Always heard it was a piece of cheese. <laughs> So this is a Bob Dylan song about the Vikings, though, right? Yeah, I, th I think it's Bob Dylan. kind of sounds like him. Okay, here it is. <laughs> Never heard this. Sounds like Dylan. It does. The Vikings, they broke my heart. That's deep. <laughs> to the Vikings. Well, it's got to be Dylan. They broke my heart. Speaking to you yet? It's hitting home. From a field goal that went wide, right? <laughs> Get to friend targeting, not me, the big one. Oh. All the fouls, but the one foul, there's one. True. That's like it. That's kind of scary. They put my heart. Sure, you didn't write this? <laughs> I could have. Oh, yeah. The walker that didn't work out. 
No, I didn't. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I didn't know Dylan was such a Vikings fan, but... Well, you know, they say that a, a true artist is actually a sad person, one who has felt heartbreak and, <laughs> and, and a lot of pain. And, you know, not to segue out of there, but... How warm do you keep it in this studio? I mean, I decided to bring in cameras, and, it, like, my toupee is about to fall off. It's so hot in here. <laughs> People think I'm kidding about the temperature in the studio, but I don't know. It doesn't. No, I just, I just want to it's know. It's hot in the winter, and it's hot in the summer in here. It's, I don't know. Now, now you, there's two other stations that are owned by this company. Yeah. And, and I've been in, in their control rooms, and I was quite comfortable. Well, whoever did the duct work above the Q studio <laughs> did not do a good job. That's the other thing. There's ducks in here, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, we're still looking for strippers. Um, <laughs> well, there's a segue. Or girls in bikinis to stop by the studio as we are filming. Yeah, and usually Monday morning, they're out. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course they are. There's going to be at least one that hasn't went to bed, right? That's right. <laughs> I don't care what you're doing. Dave, Dave, have you been single a long time? Uh, about a year now, I guess. Year. Yeah. That, that's a long time. That is a long time. That is a long time. <laughs> Why do you think I'm looking for girls to come to the studio in bikinis? <laughs> I was going to say, you know, it's like, <laughs> I mean, there wasn't even a segue. It was just like, you know, by the way, <laughs> if there's anybody there that's willing to show a little bit of flesh, please stop by. You know, I mean, you know, you got to calm down a little bit. But I'm sure, right. you know, now. There, there's now, a cash reward. <laughs> ooh, a cash reward. You should have told pocket, me. Out of pocket. Now, do they have to be female? Yeah. Oh, man. I had my yeah. bathing suit out in the car. <laughs> I could have had you hooked up, Dave. So keep that in mind, and if you're interested, uh, look us up in the phone book, find our address, and don't stop by our P.O. box. Stop by here. <laughs> Sometime between now and... The next mm, 10 minutes? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> next hour, at least. <laughs> and we'll even throw in a Q102 T-shirt from just Fire a, and Ice and Spencer. Not just a well. T-shirt. Didn't you say that uh, later you're giving away a package? Yeah, we'll do that in a little bit. Is, is it like a care package? I mean, well, what, what is it? Is it everything you need to be a Q102 fan? Just stay right there and you'll find out. All right. <laughs> Joe Walsh coming up, and we'll take a look at your weather next. Yeah, Q102, Okaboji's best rock, Foreigner, and Head Games. The funnest part of any relationship are the Head Games. <laughs> Well, whether it's fun or not, it will happen. Exactly. Now, we've had people, every time Jason White's with me and every time you've co-hosted with me, someone has called in and said, you guys sound like you're having too much fun. The exact same quote, and it's been different people each time. I know. I never. That's a weird quote, because I never understand, is that a compliment or is that an insult? You're having too much fun. Like, we should stop. Yeah, you, you've crossed the line of funness. <laughs> <laughs> it's like where something's... So good it's bad, or so bad it's good. Okay, if you were, if we How were going to do that, if we were both eight years old and our parents walked in and said, "You guys are having too much fun," that'd be bad. You would be in trouble. That's right. I, I, I don't know, but I mean, they sound like they're giving us compliments. All right. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it as a compliment. All right. You take it as a compliment because you are an optimist. <laughs> I, being a pep pessimist, <laughs> will take it as an insult. I'm actually a pessimist, to tell you the truth. But I just don't feel like being bummed out this morning. Well, we'll take a, a look into the old camera right here of OkaboojiTV.com. Does this guy look like a pessimist to you? <laughs> a pet what? No. <laughs> you know what? This is, th this is our opportunity to do a visual effect. Now, it's going to be lost on the radio people, so they're going to have to actually go to OkaboojiTV.com and watch this here. So upset we didn't get any strippers either. Yeah, yeah very, but since we didn't, this is almost as cool. We're going to do a special effect. Okay. Kind of like, remember the old Star Trek? <laughs> when... Whenever like a laser or a phaser would hit the side of the bridge. Okay, that's about to happen to Dave Pop right now. You ready? All right, here it comes and. <laughs> wow, that really okay. looked like you just got, you know, the whole building just got hit by a laser. That is what you call quality, quality <laughs> visual effects. Don't put that on Okoboji TV.